In this tutorial, I will show you how to find and subtract a baseline. How to find and fit peaks. As well as how to save your settings as a theme and reuse it to fit new data. I begin with one of our sample data files that has already been imported. We will find a baseline for this data and then find and fit the peaks. I highlight the B column, selecting it as my input. I open the Peak Analyzer by selecting Analysis, Peaks and Baseline, Peak Analyzer, Open Dialog. The data is plotted in a graph preview window and the Peak Analyzer wizard opens. The upper panel displays a map of the available steps for the selected goal below. The lower panel will display the settings for the selected step above. I will set the subtract baseline as the goal. As I do that, look above and see how the available steps in the wizard map above update. The goal that we actually want, the Fit Peaks goal, is only available in Origin Pro. We can now click Next to go to the next page, the Baseline Mode page. I'm now going to change the baseline mode from constant to user defined. And then click next again to go to the create baseline page where I see that potential baseline anchor points are automatically found and displayed in the preview graph. To modify or delete some of these points, you will want to click this button here. After doing so, I can now click on one of these red squares to edit. I'm going to drag the point. When I have finished editing the baseline anchor points, I click the Done button. If I wish the anchor points to be actual data points in the spectrum, I check the Snap to Spectrum checkbox. I will change the Connect By to Fitting by clicking the drop-down, which will fit the anchor points to generate the baseline. We now need to specify the function used to fit the baseline. The anchor points are now used to perform a fit with the exponential decay function. Let's change the function to exponential decay too. Notice the fit looks better than before, so let's keep this function. I'm now going to use the wizard map to go to the next page, Baseline Treatment. In this page, you can choose to subtract the baseline from the spectrum or fit the baseline as part of the final peak fitting process. I will check the Auto Subtract baseline so that when I click Next, the baseline will automatically be subtracted. On this Find Peaks page, there are multiple methods for peak finding. Each method has options that can be adjusted. For the current data, we will use the local maximum.
I'm going to check the Show Second Derivative checkbox. The derivative is now displayed in the preview, which can be helpful to find or manually add peaks if desired. I will now click the Find button. Two peaks are found automatically. Let's move on to the next page, the Fit Peaks page. This page provides various options to control the fit and to configure the output. Again, let's check the Show Residuals checkbox. The residuals are now shown in the preview graph. This can help you to find and manually add more peaks. I'm now going to click the Fit Control button. The Fit Control dialog will open, providing various options to control the fitting process including fixing and sharing parameters, setting bounds, tolerance, and constraints. You can specify a different function to fit different peaks if desired. You can fix or release parameters using these buttons here. We're going to fix the peak widths or the peak centers. Notice the checkbox for the centers of each peak. We're now going to click the Calculate Chi-Square and notice the reduced Chi-Square displayed in the dialog. Now let's click the Fit Until Converged button to perform iterations. Again, notice in the Messages tab the reduced chi-square value. You'll notice that the residuals are smaller now. However, they may look larger in the display due to rescaling of the y-axis. Now we're going to go ahead and click the button again, which will release the peak centers, allowing them to vary while fitting. After doing so, we'll click the Fit Until Converged button. And notice again, the chi-square value has been reduced further. We can click OK. Go to the very top next to Dialog Theme and save the current Dialog Theme settings or the settings as a theme file. Save As will pop up the dialog where you can enter in a theme name. After doing so, go ahead and click OK. The analysis is complete, so we can now click the Finish button. After doing so, a graph is generated, a report graph, displaying the raw data and the fitted curve. Using Project Explorer, let's make the workbook active. In addition to the raw data, there are now four new sheets in this workbook. We have Fit Peaks 1, which contains parameters and fit statistics, peak properties, which we're displaying now, containing values for all the peak properties. Again, we'll use Project Explorer and let's look at another set of data. We'll analyze this with the saved theme. So let's repeat the same analysis on this new set of data. To do so, highlight column B, Analysis, Peaks and Baseline, Peak Analyzer, and then choose your Exponential Baseline Fit theme from the flyout. The data is processed with the settings from the theme. The report is created automatically.
Again, we see the new sheets that were added to our workbook with our data. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.